Gregafarian here, Gregafarian.com and Virtual Media Realty. Your realtor in the Andovers, Essex County, Merrimack Valley, Greater Boston area. How you doing? Hope you're well. Doing my market report. A lot of economic news this week and um, a lot of economic information regarding housing. So I wanted to go over that, start right in it with uh, June existing home sales. June existing home sales were down 5.1% and that was an increase of 9.8% year over year. The big story was inventories and inventories was up 2.5% to 3.99 million units for sale on the market. Uh, and that was bigger than expected number and that represents an 8.9 month supply which was very high and a little bit discouraging. You know, I mean, what do you expect? I mean, you knew that that number was going to go up uh, because, you know, as the tax buyer credit program ended, uh, you know that more homes are going to be lagging around on the market. So my advice to any sellers is that if you don't price it right, you're going to be one of those laggers. So make sure you price your house right. I thought it was interesting that um, first time home buyers still represents 43% of the market and then all cash buyers are represented by 27% of the market. So that I thought those were two really interesting figures. Um, a quarter, more than a quarter percent of the people out there are investors, I would think. So pretty interesting. Existing home sales in the Northeast were doing pretty good. They were up 7.9%. In the Midwest, they were down 7.5%. In the South, they were down 6.5%. And in the West, they were down 9.3%. So 30 year fixed was stable this week. It was down slightly to 4.59%. And the 15 year was down slightly to 4.05%. Rates again are at historic lows. So that's again good for buyers. Uh, June building permits uh, was up 2.1%. Now, and then housing starts was down 5%. Now, the difference there is when you actually file to get a permit to start construction, when you actually file it, that was the building permits, the June number being up 2.1%, which is good. But the housing starts, you know, people are putting off starting. The buildings so that was down five so again a little mixed on both sides and I thought what was interesting is that distress sales are still one-third of the market and that represents 32 percent of the market foreclosure sales are actually falling and short sales are rising jobless claims was up this week and um, this is first time filers for first time people filing for initial jobless claims and that was up 37,000 to 464,000 uh, the week ending July 17th. Uh, the continuing claims was down and that was week ended July 10th and that was 4.487 million versus last week's uh, 4.71 million. So again a little bit of bad a little bit of good so a little bit of bad a little bit of good seems to balance itself out now the market did well today because of good earnings good earnings by caterpillar good earnings by a lot of companies and that's a strong positive um, negative was uh, fed chairman ben bernanke's uh, testimony i mean it wasn't really negative but the market didn't like it too much on wednesday and today it seemed to level off uh, the major problem with Fed's testimony, <clears throat> and this is a semi-annual, you know, report card of the U.S. economy. Uh, he said a lot of positive things, I thought. Uh, one of which he said that, you know, inflation seems to be subdued, which is good. He also said that unemployment is improving slowly, which we all know. And, you know, I think that the market... See, the market is looking for things to sell off. Any, any idea that things aren't going to be as rosy, they start to sell off. 
So a lot of people are wondering, did he change his tone in day number two, which was today, uh, to change the tone of the feel on Wall Street? And I think, you know, maybe he did. Maybe, you know, he did sugarcoat it a little bit. But let's not forget, this is old information. We know that the economy is weak. We know that the numbers are weak. The positives, the real positives are that companies are doing well on earnings in a negative environment. And that is really strong. That is really positive. And let's not forget about that. He did also say that expansion is proceeding at a moderate pace. We know that. Housing market is weak. We know that. So, you know, again, good and bad balances it out, which is really a positive sign. I think that the bulls right now are in control. Um, any bit of sell-off, I would think, is a good time to get into the market. Like yesterday, the market was down 109 points. Today, it's up 200. That's a 300-point swing. So, really good way to get in there. Apple had killer earnings stock was up dramatically so again there's stocks out there that you could pick up make a lot of money caterpillar was another one crushed their earnings now the negative is that the exit strategy when they start raising rates usually what happens is that the fed starts raising rates and the market sells off it's just because but again that's not bad because when you're raising rates that means that the economy is doing better and you need less government involvement, which is always good. Now, I think that this was a pretty good week with uh, what happened. I mean, the market uh, seems to be going not down, so on an upward movement, which is good. I think the real problem going forward is the federal government's involvement in everyone's lives. Definitely, I think that if you want expansion, if you want, you know, growth, you need to think about the little guy, the little businesses out there, you know, the mom and pops that actually provide jobs and growth. I think that if you ease the tax rate for small businesses, you'll actually create growth. And that's what the federal government has to understand. They have to get out of the private sector. So that's my two cents for this week. I think it was a good week. I think, again, it's a great time to be buying. Um, so if you need any help, if you have any questions, you want to give me a call, send me a message on Facebook or Twitter or email me. Let me know if you have any questions, if you have any questions on any listings. Uh, check out our website, virtualmediarealty.com, where you could search the MLS for listings in any area. Gregafarian.com, Virtual Media Realty. Hope you have a great weekend. Greg, out for now. Take care.